solve problem on balancing of multiple masses rotating in a single plane by analytical method and graphical method given question four masses m1 m2 m3 and m4 are 200 kg 300 kg 240 kg and 260 kg respectively the corresponding radii of rotation are 0.2 meter 0.15 meter 0.25 meter and 0.3 meter respectively and angle between the successive masses are 45 degree 75 degree and 135 degree find the position and magnitude of balance mass required if its a radius of rotation is 0.2 meter in this question four masses m1 m2 m3 and m4 are rotating in a single plane and we have to find out magnitude and position of the balancing mass let us prepare one table with the help of given data so first column is for name that is four masses m1 m2 m3 m4 second is for mass in kilogram so standard unit is kilogram so we have to mention as per the given data the third one radius of rotation so this radius of rotation should be in meter so we have to mention this as per the given data now next column is for m into r and its unit is kilogram meter so we have to just multiply these two column 200 into 0.240 300 into 0.15 45 and so on now next is angle theta so here in question uh, angle between successive masses is mentioned so we will assume that first mass m1 is at angle 0 then in between m1 and m2 angle is given 45 degree so here is m2 now between m2 and m3 angle is given 75 degree so here is 75 degree so this is m3 and between m3 and m4 angle is given 135 degree so this angle is 135 degree and this is mass m4 now how to mention this angle theta so we have to mention with respect to this line with 0 degree so this first m1 is at 0 degree m2 is at 45 degree m3 is at 45 plus 75 that is 120 degree and m4 is at 45 plus 75 plus 135 that is 255 degree now we are going to solve this question by using analytical method so first we have to find out summation of h and summation of v so what is the formula to calculate summation of h so summation of h that is the summation of all horizontal components so here we have calculated m into r so horizontal component for this is m, m for mass 1 m1 r1 cos of theta 1 so we have to add all these components for four masses so m1 r1 cos of theta 1 m2 plus m2 r2 cos of theta 2 plus m3 r3 cos of theta 3 plus m4 r4 cos of theta 4 so what is the m1 r1 so m into r we have calculated so 40 cos 0 plus 45 cos 45 plus 60 cos 120 plus 78 cos 255 so when we solve this we will get the answer 21.6319 and its a unit is kilogram now in the same way we will calculate the summation of all vertical components now instead of cos theta we have to use here sin theta so for all the four masses uh, m1 r1 sin sin of theta 1 m2 plus m2 r2 sin of theta 2 plus m3 r3 sin of theta 3 plus m4 r4 sin of theta 4 now here m1 r1 that is 40 sin 0 plus 45 sin 45 plus 60 sin 120 plus 78 sin 255 so when we solve this we will get 8.4391 and its a unit is kilogram meter now we will find out the resultant so resultant that is under root of summation of x square plus summation of v square that is under root of 21.63 square plus 8.43 square so when we solve this then we will get 23.2197 but its a unit is also in kilogram meter now we have to find out mass that is kilogram only now meter that is the radius of rotation 
and that is mentioned in the question for the balancing mass radius of rotation 0.2 meter. So here this mb rb, so we can say that kilogram meter means what? mb into rb that is equal to 23.2197. So this rb is known. So mb is 116.09 kilogram. Now from this summation of v and summation of h, we can find out the angle of the resultant. So how to find out angle of the resultant that is tan of theta is equal to summation of V by summation of H and which is equal to 0 0.3901 and therefore theta is equal to tan inverse of this 0 0.3901 which is equal to 21.3118. So we will show here in this diagram. So this is the space diagram. So first we have to take some suitable scale for to draw this space diagram. So scale is 0 0.1 meter is equal to 5 centimeter. So if we observe here the radius is for mass m1 is 0 0.2 meter. So for 0 0.2 meter we have to take this scale that is equal to 10 centimeter. So we will take here this angle is at 0 degree. Then in the same way for mass M2 we have to take some suitable scale for 0.15. So if we measure this or with this scale it is 7.5 cm and angle is at 45 degrees. So from this M1 we have to take 45 degree angle and we have to draw here. Then for 0.25 here we, with this scale we have to draw this line and angle is 120 degrees from this mass M1. So for uh, M4 also with 0 0.3 meter radius with this scale we have to take this length 15 centimeter and angle is 255 degree. So this is the space diagram with some suitable scale and this scale is important. Now from this calculation this angle theta is the angle of resultant. So I will show here and it is 20 degree. So I will show with the help of dotted line. So this is the angle of resultant. Now the question is that we have to find out the position of balancing mass. So the angle of resultant is this 21.31 degree. So the balancing mass is exactly in opposite direction. So if I extend this line in this backward direction then this is the total angle for the balancing mass. So we have to add this 180 degree. So this 180 plus 21.31 that is theta b is equal to 201.3118 degree. So this is the balancing mass. Now what is the scale? So we know that rb is equal to 0 0.2 meter. So with this scale we have to draw this line that is equal to 10 centimeter. So up to this we have to draw this line because this is the space diagram with some suitable scale. And here we have to show MB that is the balancing mass. And we have to show the angle also 201.31 degree. Now we will move for the graphical method. So we have to take the reference for the values of M into R for all four masses as well as space diagram. So this space diagram is drawn with some suitable scale. Now for this values m into r we will also decide what particular scale that is 40 kilogram meter is equal to 8 centimeter. So for this first value we have to take scale 8 centimeter. So what, what about this 45? So I have calculated here that is 45 into 8 divided by 40 and that is equal to 9 centimeter. Then for 60. 60 into 8 divided by 40 that is 12 centimeter and for 78 we have to take 15.6 centimeter. Now we will start to draw the force diagram. So first this 40 kilogram meter this m into r and angle theta is 0 degree. Now this 40 kilogram meter is having positive sign. So we will first consider one reference point as a O. And from this I will take this scale that is 8 cm towards the right hand side. So this right hand side because of the positive sign. So here is first. So now I will give here um, 
that is here this value is for m1 so i will write here 1 then after that next one is 45 so for 45 we have to take 9 cm scale now we will show magnitude also so its a magnitude is 40 kilogram meter now for the next angle is 45 so this angle 45 is shown for this mass m2 so the same angle i will transfer from this one and we will take the scale of 9 cm and i will transfer here so this is the 2 so here also i will show the magnitude 45 so we will show arrow also then next one is M3. So for M3 60 that is we have to take scale 12 cm and angle is in this direction. For 12 cm I will transfer this with parallel line and I will transfer here. So I will show arrow also. So here is 0.3 for mass M3. And now next one is 78 that is 15.6 and I have to take scale or direction in this M4. So I will transfer here and we have to take here with 15.6 cm. Now this force diagram should be closed. So we have to join this 4 to O. Now what is the its value? So this 4 to O that is nothing but MB into RB. So if we measure this scale, then this scale is equal to, that is length is equal to 3.51 cm. So if I write here 3.51 cm, then we have to find out value in kilogram meter. So we will make here cross multiplication, that is 3.51 into 40 divided by 8, and which is equal to MB into RB. Now we know the value of RB, that is the radius of rotation of balancing mass, that is 0.2 meter. So only one unknown term that is MB and which is equal to 117 kilogram. Now what is the angle of the resultant? So angle of resultant we have to find out from this horizontal line. So here this is the inclination and if we measure this angle and then this angle is 21 degree. So what is the angle of balancing mass? So balancing mass angle is exactly in opposite direction. That means we have to take 21 plus 180 that is 201 degree. Now we have to show this in the space diagram. So in the same way that I have shown in the previous analytical method, in the same way we have to show this resultant that is at 21 degree and in the exactly opposite direction and with scale. So scale 0.1 meter is equal to 5 centimeter. So radius of rotation is 0.2 that is with 10 centimeter line we have to show here the mass mv.